guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel so I've been seeing this new trend going around it's called the latte makeup look and I thought of trying it so the latte makeup look as much as I know as much as I've seen in pictures and all um, it's a really bronzed up toasty makeup look just warm tone makeup there's a lot of bronzer it's very skin like with freckles showing in really really natural makeup and it's supposed to look really good on medium to dark skin tone I have light to medium skin tone so let's see how it looks on mine and if you've tried this out then do let me know as well because I would love to know how it looked on you guys so yeah let's just get into the video I've seen a few pictures on Instagram and literally 90% of the comments are somebody who does not have perfect skin already do this makeup because it's very minimal a lot of people don't use foundation for this look some of them do but then again it's really light it's not heavy foundation it's a very light to medium coverage foundation that they use or they just use a skin tint or they cancel out the base completely and with the blush again i don't see a lot of people using blush i do see some who use blush but with a different undertone it differs from person to person and you just have to do what might look good on you you know your face the best so i'm gonna try to do all that but on my skin tone so let's see how it looks let's just start off this is for everybody who wanted somebody to do it who does not have amazing skin already as you can see my skin has been acting up quite a lot there's no filter there's no skin smoothening there's nothing the texture is in your face my acne scars my pimples everything is out I have been on my tretinoin journey i stopped using it for the past two weeks i started again three four days ago but for almost two weeks i did not use it and that is because we got a baby we have a little puppy and it's the most adorable thing ever you must have seen the video already and he's a big licker i love playing with him obviously i play with him before he goes to sleep and I'm tired by then so I can't put him to sleep and then do my skincare and then wake up in the morning and wash it off before he wakes up or whatever because he literally wakes me up so I just stop doing it because I'm like if he's gonna lick me I do not want that to get into his system I just stopped and now I started again because it's been two weeks now and it's like two percent more relaxed so in that I'm trying to squeeze in my tretinoin let's just start off I did my skincare and I used the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. It's all soaked in. I'm gonna move on to my primer. And I do not have beautiful skin, so this is for you guys. And I am gonna be using foundation. Now that I'm done with that, I am going to move on to my foundation. Like I said, it's a really, really natural makeup look so your skin needs to look like skin which is why i'm using the bobby brown skin foundation i do have a review on this foundation i think it's a video or two before this video so i'm gonna leave it in the description down below and i'm in the shade beige 3 so i'm just gonna put one pump of that on my hand and then putting it on my face I'm in a full-blown purging phase. If this foundation doesn't look like it matches my skin, it's probably because of my tretinoin journey. Since I started again, I'm in this full-blown purging phase. So my skin is duller and all, know that. But once you blend it out and all, it looks amazing. I'm taking the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I'm just gonna spray some in my blender. This is the e.l.f. blender. My skin is getting a little peely because again the dryness I have sensitive skin now next once I'm done with the base my skin looks so natural it looks so beautiful 
you can still see each and every imperfection but it looks really nice also it gives a really nice light coverage and a fresh looking glow to the skin now once i'm done with that i am gonna spot conceal I'm spots that i have a marks and scars since everybody doing this makeup has amazing skin and nothing really shows just a little bit i'm bringing the mac studio finish concealer in the shade 25 taking some on this vanity planet flat concealer brush that i have i'm just taking a little bit of that and putting it on just patting it in i am gonna go in with a blender once i'm done applying this I'm not blending it out a lot. If not, you lose the purpose of spot concealing. It just goes away, disappears, and then nothing shows. I would ideally do it with my finger. I don't know why I chose to do it with a brush. Now I'm gonna move on to the bronzer. I am using my Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the shade Mocha, and I'm just gonna swirl it on my brush, not directly putting it. Hold on. Taking my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in the shade Be Fair Pale. I'm just gonna take some of that, put it on my face. And I'm taking my Fendi Beauty Match Stick in the shade Mocha. Just swirling my brush on the bronzer. You can see all the product there. Now I'm going to blend the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood filter along with the bronzer. Taking some more, a lot more. Some is an understatement. This makeup look is so toasty. It's so caramelly brown. It's not a red or an orange toned brown as well. I don't know how it's gonna look on me. I already see it. I'm not really a big fan. Okay then. I look quite burnt. I literally look like I have a sunburn, but whatever. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna move on to my concealer for which I'm using the, hold on. Maybelline Fit Me Concealer as well as the Makeup Forever HD Self Setting Concealer. I'm in the shade 25 in the Makeup Forever one and I'm in the shade 20 in the Maybelline one. I'm gonna put some of the Makeup Forever one. I like using it for brightening. It's a little bit of a pink tone, so I'm gonna put some of that right in the middle and I'm just gonna blend it out now. And this is something I learned over the past few years. You never look down or you never pull your uh, skin down to conceal because then the product sits in those lines that you have under your eyes and it creases. It's horrible. I have been going through that for the longest time and I always set, it never helps because I realized I set it with the crease so it makes no sense. You can look up and conceal but do not pull your skin down or like look down like this to smooth out that part once i'm done with that i'm going to move on to contour like i said a lot of people don't use contour for this look, but I am going to use a little bit. I'm going to use brownish contour because I need to. My face looks so weird. My face just looks really weird. I don't think the latte makeup look is for me. I'm taking my Hayden Light palette. I'm sorry, I'm not going to show it to you guys like that because I know it's broken. And I'm opening it after forever, so I hope nothing falls. 
everything is broken and it's mixed up and messed up so i'm just gonna take some of whatever is there here taking a smaller luxie brush that i have oh i know it's in my hair i can see it i'm gonna remove it all don't worry ah. okay that's it shutting this and now just blending everything out that bad This is just how my nose is gonna look for the rest of the video. I don't think I've ever done this heavy contouring on my nose, but whatever. Yeah. This is a very, very toasty, caramelly look. I'm not gonna use any cool tones for this look. I'm gonna move on to my eyes, for which I'm using the bronzer again. I'm just gonna put a little bit like that. Don't look at me funnily. I am gonna have pictures popping up throughout the video. So you know I'm not the only one who looks like this. Literally everybody who does the laddie makeup looks like this. This random brush that I have and I'm just going to blend, blend, blend. Once that is done, I'm taking this NYX lip liner in the shade brown. liner in the shade brown it's a brown shade i don't know if it's in the shade brown i don't know if it's called that but it's the brown one. Oh, and then i'm just gonna line my eyes just gonna make it a little thick um, i have green eyes and people with brown eyes just add to the look. And I'm gonna compensate for that with a brown liner, like a thick one. I'm taking my Fit Me Loose powder and just putting some So once I'm done with the eyeliner and putting powder on my under eyes and my nose, I am going to move on to my face again. So a lot of people who do this look put freckles on. I've never had freckles. I've never had freckles my entire life. So I don't know how they're going to look and I don't want to do freckles. So I'm just going to like make small beauty spots on the spots that I have and the spots that I have scars or like enhance the moles on my face. A 
which music the next professional top designer in the shade found the same thing that put um on my eyes tell you I forgot to do my brows but I just filled in my brows I used the elf brow lift and a spoolie just brushed it upwards that's it I did not fill them in just use the clear gel it looks so good this was the step that I really wanted to do for this look because and I forgot but yeah I finished it that's it for today's video I really hope you liked this look I actually wasn't a big fan of it I thought it looked so bad while I was doing my makeup I was like you know what just trust the process because everybody looks so good and gorgeous i mean it is a latte makeup look it is a toasty brownie makeup look this is how it looks on light to medium skin tone if you do end up recreating this look and you send me pictures my instagram is down below so yeah that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe let me know what you want me to do next and i will do it thank you Bye bye